Hello everyone, this is Usman, welcome back to Bards and Books, and today I am doing a list of the series that I'm hoping to start this year in 2023. So this is just a few series that I have on my shelf here, they're relatively short as well, so nothing like nothing like Malazan or anything big like that, that may be a bit of a tough commitment, so it's just like trilogies and stuff like that. So let's go through it. And keep in mind, of course, anything can happen, right? You get buddy reads that happen sometimes, uh, strong book recommendations, or even challenges, which I'm hoping to do soon with the help of Chloe, because um, they look like fun. But for now, this is my list, and I will try my very best to get to them this year. So the first series we have is The Wheel of Time. Now, this is the only odd one because I'm not actually starting it. I'll be finishing it this year, hopefully. That's the goal. Um, I'm on book 11, Knife of Dreams now, which I will start this month, February. Um, but I also just want to clear the air of my true thoughts on the Wheel of Time. So I know I've uh, spoken a little negatively about it in previous videos, and that all rings true, but there is some positive that I wanted to touch on. So when I first started the series um, eons ago, uh, The Eye of the World was really good. I really enjoyed it. It really hooked me in and, and got me interested in these characters in this world. It was amazing. Now keep in mind I haven't read uh, the Lord of the Rings books yet, which I know this is heavily influenced from, but regardless I thought the Eye of the World was awesome. And then we had the Great Hunt, which was also really really good. I enjoyed that. And then we get to the Dragon Reborn, which I still enjoyed a lot, but was really rushed it seemed. And um, I think I heard somewhere that it was originally intended to be a trilogy, so I can understand why the third book was, the ending was kind of rushed that way and, and things just happened really quickly. So, whatever, that's the way it is. Moving on to book four, what, from what I can recall, um, it is apparently like one of the most popular books, but none of it really stuck for me, so I don't know. Maybe it's just his writing style, which was a challenge for me to read. But anyways, moving on to book five, The Fires of Heaven. Um, I actually didn't really enjoy this one. It was pretty thick, but the reason was because we followed a lot of like Elaine and the girls and their and their journey to, um, what was it, that carnival group? Luca's Carnival or whatever. I, I didn't really care much for that. Like it was, it felt like a bit of a just interlude and, and nothing was really happening. I mean, I didn't enjoy watching the girls learn how to tightrope walk that <laughs> like it didn't seem to be really moving the plot forward anywhere so that was just my take on it and then we move on to lord of chaos book six which i enjoyed a lot more i can't really recall a lot of the things that happened it was so long ago but it was a thick book but i still remember enjoying it much much more than the fires of heaven and then we got to book seven a crown of swords and now seven eight nine ten that was just completely downhill but of course it was the slog so it makes sense. And now we're on book 11. So I'm hoping it really, really picks up here. That's what a lot of people say. And um, I'm going into it with a clean palette and a renewed sense of vigor. So wish me luck. So yeah, only four more books to go for The Wheel of Time. I should be able to finish it this year. That shouldn't be a problem. The next series is Discworld. Now, oh my gosh, this is the one I am so, so excited for this year. I, I've been wanting to start it for a while now, ever since I read that one book, Mort, by Terry Pratchett. Um, I loved Discworld. As soon as I read that book and finished it, I was hooked. I wanted to read everything. Before that, I was only interested in reading the City Watch series, like Guards, Guards, and, and the books pertaining to them. But uh, after reading Mort, I decided I want to read everything in Discworld. So I will definitely be starting that in 2023. Um, I know there are many different like sub subplots in Discworld, like we follow Rincewind, the the mages or whatever, and then we got the witches, and then we got the, the City Watch, and Death, of course. So I'm excited to get to all of that. I will be reading the series in um, consecutive order from release, so starting with The Color of Magic, and then, you know, going through order. I'm really looking forward to this because Terry Pratchett is one of the only authors I've ever read that can actually make me laugh out loud like the the humor is really witty and clever and it just it'll make you chuckle like you it'll just bring that out of you and uh, I don't think 
I've ever had that with any other any other books that I've read. Like, it's really hard to make me laugh. I'm I'm not a overtly joyous and and uh, laughing out loud kind of person. So yeah, again, it should be a lot of fun. Now the next series on here is the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Um, starting with the fifth season, the Obelisk Gate, and whatever the third one's called. But um, this is another uh, highly recommended series. It takes place on this great big uh, landmass, sort of Pangaea style, called, uh, what's it called, the Stillness. And apparently this land is just racked with like apocalyptic, uh, apocalyptic level storms that... Um, just wreak havoc for like a really long periods of time and we got all these different uh, castes in society some have like this this magic that they can kind of control the elements and like and reduce the storms or something like that and then we got all these other political factions and then of course the common people and and stuff like that I haven't read too much into it but it seems like a really interesting series. Yeah, should be fun. And uh, I'll definitely let you know how it is. Next up, we got the Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks. Now, this is a series about assassins, apparently, and uh, kind of like underground world, like criminal activity. And you got like a thief who's apparently becoming a, an assassin apprentice. Um, and it just goes through the lifestyle, I guess, of an assassin or an assassin to be. But apparently it is decent. Um, I know he's really famous for his Lightbringer series, which was after that, which apparently is great. But um, this series, yeah, we'll see. It's about assassins. That can go either way. So um, if you have any comments or anything you want to share with me before I read it, please let me know. And yeah, other than that, We'll see how it goes. Next up is The Death Gate Cycle by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Now, I've read a lot of Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman recently. I read the Dark Sword trilogy. I read uh, Dragonlance books. But apparently this is like their best work. That's what everyone says. Um, and it's seven books. And we go through all the elements in each book like air, water, fire, that kind of thing, something like that. But this follows a few different races of humans or something like that and they're kind of butting heads with, e with each other and some are imprisoned and trying to escape and I don't know it seems like a whole lot of political drama going on here. Um, I'm hoping it is super awesome like everyone says and yeah, we'll see. I'll get to that soon, hopefully, and let you know. Okay, next up we got The Poppy War. And this is a trilogy uh, by R.F. Kuang. We got The Poppy War, The Dragon Republic, and uh, The Burning God. So this is a series I've been looking forward to a very long time. Ever since I heard that it was like super grimdark and really graphic and, and uh, violent and, and that kind of thing. So that's all the kind of stuff I love. I love super dark fantasy with like brutal elements in it. And apparently it's about uh, the Chinese-Japanese war or conflict in uh, 20th century history or something like that. So yeah, we'll see how it is. It seems pretty interesting. I hope it's uh, at least somewhat historically accurate if it is that kind of thing because I do like reading about history and um, I don't really like it when things get kind of skewed because I do end up looking things up afterwards seeing if they are historically accurate and, and what isn't and what isn't but um, aside from that I've, I've heard nothing but awesome reviews about this series but I'm really looking forward to uh, delving into it and seeing what my thoughts are which I will share with you this year. So next up we have The Warded Men, which is part of the Demon Cycle by Peter V. Brett. Now, I don't know much about this other than it's got demons in it, which is awesome. And apparently the demons feast upon humans and, and it's fallen back into the Dark Ages. So some people use like these magical runes or something to repel them or something like that. But anyways, sounds super dark, super awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I also heard that the first book was really good in it, but the, all the consecutive books weren't really that great. I'm not too sure what to expect, but we'll see. I'm the type of person that when you start, when I start a series, I 
really have to finish it. Like, it's really hard for me to DNF a book or series. So I don't think that would happen with this, but you know, anything is possible. Um, we'll see, if you have any thoughts on it, if you wanna let me know anything, please let me know. And lastly, we have the First Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. Now this is another one that I've heard is super grim, dark and gory and, and violent and that kind of thing, which again, I'm looking very, very forward to. But um, I don't know a whole lot about it. Apparently it's got demons as well. And there's a whole bunch of political drama that happens. So yeah, I'm not too sure. But again, this is another one like the Poppy War that I've heard is people just rave about how awesomely dark it is and, and, and brutal and that kind of thing. So yeah, that's my jam. I'm really looking forward to it. And I will let you know what I think this year. Anyways, that's it for the list. Those are just a few of the series that I picked out that were relatively short, nothing long to, uh, to work on this year. Um, again, it's obviously subject to change, possibly. We'll see if anything comes up. But this is on the agenda for now, and I'm really, really looking forward to them. If you have any thoughts about this list, if you, if you have others to add that you think I'd like, please let me know, and I will see you all next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.